Welcome to Picture Healer channel. This is Shi Tian. Today we want to continue last week's purple white flying star chart analysis. Last week we have the house chart for the number one Kan house and the number two Quan house. Today we will talk about the number three, the Zhen house, and the number four, the Shen house. The Zhen house is the house sitting on the east side and facing the west. And the Shun house is sitting on the southeast and facing the northwest. And we will start with the energy map for the Zhen house. For the Zhen house, the number three star goes to the center, and other star will follow the flying star theory and go to different directions. And I have the basic five element theory chart here. You can see the wood, fire, earth, metal, and water. Because the Zheng house has the basic energy of number three, that's a wood element. So if an element generates wood, that's a generating cycle and the energy is generating. If the element is fire, fire depletes wood. So that will be depleting energy. And if it's conflicting with wood, that will be conflicting energy. And the number five star is always a conflicting gate. It's like a challenge in this chart. So for the Zhen house, you can see the map. We have two, seven, nine, one, three, five, and six, A, four. The blue part is the negative energy. We have death, conflicting and depleting, and the gate. And the yellow one is a generating energy. And we'll look at the combination with the 2020 yearly chart and see more detail. I place the 2020 yearly chart numbers below the Zhen house chart numbers. And I try to keep it simple and use color to indicate the auspicious and the problem areas. The red one is the best part according to the chart combination. The green area means watch out for health and possible disease or accident. And the yellow area is generally good area, but sometimes it's mixed. And the blue area is more negative area, according to this map. I will start with the southeast. That's the combination of two and six star. The number two is earth element, and that generates the number six white star. That's the metal element. So it's a generating relationship. And it indicates good luck in money and real estate because six is a very lucky number. But it also can mean problem with health because number two is an illness star. And this is not good area to set up a bed if you are weak or have health issues. And to reduce the power of the number two star, we can place metal objects such as a bronze bell or wind chime. And in the south area, the combination is seven and two. The number two earth star generates number seven metal star. It indicates money luck. The two seven combination can also mean relationship trouble. So that's the area you have to be careful. And because of the number two star, it's the same with southeast. You can display metal objects and avoid construction here. Next is the Southwest. It's nine and four combination. The number four is a wood element and it generates a number nine purple star. That's a fire element. So it's a good combination indicating fame, career success, intelligence, and money luck. And this is one of the best areas for Zhen House in 2020. The next one, we look at the East. The star combinations are one and five. The number five star is the earth star and it controls the number one white star, the water star. So it's a controlling relationship. And the number five yellow star can bring misfortune, illness, or accident. It can affect the middle sun the most. So we can use metal objects again because both two and five are earth element and the metal can reduce the earth. 
So you can add metal objects here and avoid construction so we don't disturb the energy here. The center area is 3 and 7. The number 7 is the metal energy and it controls the number 3, the wood star. The 3 7 combination indicates robbery, quarrel, accident, or legal trouble. And we can add water element in this area to balance out the energy of 3 and 7 stars. The west has star number 5 and 9. The number 9 purple star is a fire element and that generates a number 5 star, the earth element. It can indicate fire or disease related to fire, such as blood, heat, eyes, or head. And we can add metal element here because it's number five earth star. Next one is a six and one combination in the northeast. The six star is metal element and that generates the number one white star, the water element. Both are auspicious stars. This combination can bring wealth, fame, career promotion, and peach blossom luck. So the northeast is one of the best area, the same as southwest for the Zheng house this year. In the north, it's number eight and number three combination. The number three, the wood element, controls the number eight, earth element. And it can mean intelligence and offspring luck. It can also mean family disharmony, such as uh, sibling fighting and affecting the youngest son the most, or illness or accidents that can affect the youngest son. And to balance the energy, we can add fire element here, because the wood generates fire and fire generates earth. The last one is the northwest star four and eight combination. The number four is the wood element and it controls the number eight white star, that's the earth element. This can mean weak health for little kids or pregnant women and it can also mean stress and social isolation. And we can add some fire element here to balance out the energy of four and eight. So that's the number three Zhen house. The next one is number four Shun house. That's sitting on the southeast and facing northwest. And the number four wood star goes to the center. And based on the relationship with this wood star, each section has a different meaning. The best energy for the Shun house includes southeast and southwest. Both are generating relationship. And the number five star goes to the northwest. That's the conflicting gate and represents the challenge. Now we'll look at the 2020 yearly chart combining the house chart for the Shun house. And we start from southeast again. That's a star three and six. The six is a metal element that controls the wood element, number three. The three six combination indicates trouble for the oldest son in the family. And it can be illness, accident, or legal trouble. And the best way is for the oldest son to travel away from home for study or work to ensure safety and health. The next one is the south, the number two and eight combination. And it indicates wealth and business luck. Both stars are earth elements. The number eight is very auspicious, but the number two is an illness star. And again, for number two or number five star, we can use metal element to reduce the earth element and avoid construction here. For Southwest, it's a star one and four combination. And this is a very classic auspicious combination for intelligence, passing exams, and career advancement. This is a good place to set up a study room or office or kids bedroom. So the Southwest is the best area for a Shun house in 2020. 
Next one, we look at the east, star 2 and 5. Both are negative stars and related to illness and accident. But on the other hand, it's good for medical or funeral industry. And we want to avoid setting up a bed here if you are concerned about the health and avoid construction here because of the 2 and 5 stars. And the classical remedy is to use metal objects such as a bronze bell or metal clock to drain the energy of 2 and 5. In the center, we have combination 4 and 7. The 7 is metal element and it controls the number 4, the wood element. And the 4-7 combination indicates stress, quarrel, legal trouble that can affect the oldest daughter the most. And to balance out the energy of 4 and 7, we can add some water element here either the color of black, blue, or actual water. And in the west, we have star 6 and 9. The 9 is a fire star that controls the 6, the metal element. This combination can mean festive event and money luck, but it can also mean argument within the family or disease related to fire, such as head, blood, heat, eyes, and so on. And we can balance out the energy of six and nine stars by adding Earth element here, including the color of yellow, brown, or actual Earth material, such as soil or earthware. Next is the Northeast. We have star combination seven and one. 7 is the metal, generates the 1, that's water, and it indicates money luck and travel luck. If you travel to a far away place, it can bring you money luck. And 7-1 combination can also mean relationship trouble or the peach blossom trouble. So watch out for your romantic relationship. In the north area, we have 9 and 3 stars. And the three is the wood element that generates the number nine fire element. And that can indicate intelligence, wealth, and health luck. And there's a tendency for the oldest son to be impulsive for this combination. But generally, this is an auspicious combination. The last one is a Northwest star five and eight. The number A star is very auspicious, especially in period 8, and it can indicate fame, fortune, and offspring luck. But the number 5 star can bring illness, accident, and obstacles. So again, we can display metal objects to reduce the number 5 earth element and avoid construction here. So that's the basic analysis for the house chart and the 2020 yearly chart. If it sounds too complicated, you can always go back to the basic meaning of the nine stars and set up your feng shui based on the location of these stars. Thank you for watching today and talk to you next time.